talking about Jesus. Yeah. Talking about Jesus. Yeah. All right. So for some of you guys who don't know, Ezreal had dropped this clip. Um, in this clip here, she's rapping. She's trying out some rap. Um, it looks as if she's shading some of the accusers. Um, they feel some kind of way about it. We're going to go in through the comments and I'm going to show you what they're saying. In the meantime, um, it also looks like she's missing R. Kelly. Okay. She telling him he, he should have made her wifey. All right. Out of everything that's been said. So let's, um, listen to this real quick. I'm going to add my music in the background to kind of blend it in. But here we go. I'm going to let y'all go ahead and, um, listen to what she says and then we go and look in these comments and see what these accusers had said that was in the uh lifetime documentary um yeah let's get into this real quick <laughs> There she is, and she's saying what she's saying. Shout out to the neighborhood tall too. They the ones who posted this video, um, where the other accusers had went ahead and made some comments. A lot of people made a lot of comments, so it's gonna take me a minute to go through them. Um, hopefully we can find them right away. So let's uh, go through here. You know the first comment. <clears throat> I noticed came from Lizette Martinez. I'm gonna go through this, and I popped up on her by accident. I didn't realize that, um, you know, they they really giving it to her. Okay, nope, stop it right now. It's the bot for me. It's the boot for me. Where the hell Nikki at? Where Nikki at? Nikki. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. all right so we're gonna go through keep going through keep going through keep going through um there we go uh you see right here where it says faith allison i hope that's not shade okay so there's faith you know faith um the one who was uh, exposed by Summer Bunny. Summer Bunny basically said they both was going around sleeping with celebrities at that time. Uh, Summer Bunny was sleeping with celebrities. You know, Summer Bunny's the one who got caught with Offset. And um, so she kind of exposed Faith Rogers for her involvement with R. Kelly. So let's see here. And her motives for her involvement with R. Kelly. So let's go up a little bit. It's coming. It's coming. I know it is. I think these people are going in. They said, I don't care. I don't care. It's still April Fool's. <laughs> Is that a black sheet in the back? I can't forget she ate shit. These people funny. They really went in on her um, in these comments here. As I scroll through, y'all could probably uh, read them. I'm kind of trying to scroll through fast so I can get to these comments though. Uh, where is it at? It's coming. 
That's crazy. It's a shame that, you know, she's just trying to, I don't know what Israel is trying to do. Um, she's singing, she's rapping, she's trying to find her way out here, I guess. Trying to find somebody, oh, here we go, Lizette Martinez, um, survivor, underscore survivor. Very hurtful, if it's shade, being that we spoke out for her. She was not alone, and we have her back. Shaking my head is sad. So that's Lizette Martinez. Um, I think I saw Lizette Martinez say something else also. I mean, I know I did. But, um, yeah, so you got Lizette Martinez. She come out. She's saying something. Mind you, she's the one that um, Latoya X had explo ex exploited and said that uh, Latoya X have met Latoya X have met Lizette Martinez through the savages um well exactly what happened was Lizette was told to reach out to Latoya X by the savages so uh, Lizette did that Latoya and Lizette had got close um Latoya was on a phone call with John Jalen and um it appears as if while she was on that phone call, she was receiving a text message from Lizette saying, don't believe her. Uh, they lie. Yada, yada, yada. So then Latoya X had ended up meeting up with Gloria Allred with Lizette Martinez. And um, Gloria Allred is the attorney for the girls. They would be representing the accusers uh, in the civil suit portion of anything against R. Kelly. So Latoya X had came out and had said that um sorry I'm still scrolling through here. I know that um there's something else in here that Lizette had said. But anyway so um I guess it was kinda noted as the what was supposed to be said in a press conference Things moved a little bit further with Gloria Allred, the attorney, as well as with uh, Lizette Martinez and Latoya X. So Latoya X and uh, Lizette were supposed to go into a press conference and say some things. Well, Latoya X decided she wasn't going to say those things because it wasn't true. She said they wanted me to get up there and lie on this man. She said for no reason. She said... There's no way. There's no way I'm going to go ahead and lie. He's done nothing to me. He's done nothing to any of us. So that day, uh, Gloria Allred and Lizette Martinez had actually went up there and did the press conference on their own. So um, that's what's up with this Lizette chick. So... You know, and this Lizette chick was having problems with Latoya. Her and Latoya X was going back and forth on social media, uh, putting up posts. Latoya X had exposed Lizette, um, showed all the text messages that her and Lizette had between each other. Lizette saying how much she cared for R. Kelly and this, that, and the third. Uh, Latoya X had came out and said that Lizette really didn't date R. Kelly for long. Anyhow. So, guys, I'm trying to find this other comment. I'm just going to give you guys the screenshots because I got the screenshots. Um, uh, here's this Char Charisse Love 2. Y'all, an innocent man is locked up because of a hostage lie. There are no victims. When will they let the goat free? This is so wrong. They're lying on a good man, Frey R. Kelly. Right, because after you look through the evidence or whatever the hell they call evidence, there is no evidence that shows that R. Kelly actually did any wrongdoing with any of these females at all. Um, I no age boundaries uh, being crossed. They're really reaching in the case against R. Kelly, and it's sad. And then right now, for those of you guys who are not familiar, the Cook County um, uh, Correctional Facility they have or, or mcc where where he's locked at locked up at 
um, they have over a hundred and I think 30 some people that actually um, mm -mm -mm. wait look at this yeah so wow PB Black says P Black says Faith really mad about Azrael's little 15 minutes of fame even though she drives everybody up a wall They both had the same motives. Azrael just had a plan and it appears that she is executing it. Soon as we stop paying Azrael some attention, boom. Robert made me eat shit. It really make you question just how guilty R. Kelly really is now. I don't know. So, you know, I said it once before and I'm going to say it again. Those there's a lot of people out here that had R. Kelly pictured as guilty, and it's starting to show. These females is out here trying to get some spotlight, and they're exposing themselves. They're exposing themselves. So you know, again, I haven't found anything. That can prove to me that this man has been guilty. I know there's indictments out there and all like that. But don't let the word indictments actually, you know, sink sink into your head. Because the indictments is what the prosecutors are trying to... Is, is a case that the prosecutors are trying to build against this man. Um, you got R. Kelly. He's been locked up since July. So it's almost a year. But he's been locked up since July. And, um nothing they have nothing on him as a matter of fact they had to drop a jane doe off the indictment and add a new one on like come on man this far in the game you guys have a jane doe in the indictment that is not creditable matter of fact so far none of the jane does are creditable um this is crazy uh, Yaya Moore says, so no grieving time from being abused for years, just straight to business and equity off of the fucked up shit you went through. Anybody else see something wrong with this picture? Ezreal, her pops, Angelo, just too eager to run out there and try to give, get fame, get fame off the situation. Um, I mean... They didn't plan this out right. Their plan is blowing up in their face. It's obvious. It's it's wild. Um, I can't believe such a uh, such a takedown could be occurring with a man, and it is semi working because he is in jail. Um, as this unfolds, you guys are going to see a lot more stuff unfold. A lot of stuff has already unfolded. Uh, you had the girl, her name Dominique Gardner. She came out. She called her mom a liar, saying everything she was saying in the goddamn documentary was a lie. Um, you got Lanita Carter. She said uh, R. Kelly asked her for a head massage in 2003 you got lanita carter up on stage at, at some kind of club or whatever saying that she was a professional dick sucker in 1996 she knew all about head massages she tried to act like she ain't know what a head massage was you know this is sad it's sad these females would do this um, and all this, at the end of the day, these females, their parents, would do this. At the end of the day, it's all about money. It's all about money. If they would go to these extents for money, who, like, what else are they capable of? A lot of these females are just in it for the money. Um, and you'll see a lot of the accusers going against each other as well this is wow well guys um i'm gonna go ahead and just give you guys the screenshots real quick of the uh comments that i caught earlier 
just in case they may have been uh, deleted already. But shout out to the Neighborhood Talk 2. They have this video out here. It's captioned, looks like Azrael Clary is trying out rap. Crazy, guys. Crazy. So.